What's up, YouTube? <sighs> Just got fully equipped to hit this cold weather. Now it's time to, to do the damn thing. Good morning, people. This is your morning yard street. Good morning, good morning to all those who are already up and at them. Hope you have a wonderful day. This is going to be door number four. Hope you have a wonderful morning. Hope you have a safe morning. And as usual, you're starting your days with me, which I appreciate wholeheartedly. Because you don't have to. That's wrong. Let me do it right. So this morning, guys, we're going to talk about this weekend, some of the stuff that went on this weekend. Uh, we're going to talk about how I am the new reigning and defending default um, debate champion. In this community, I am undefeated in debates, undefeated in debates. The crazy part is I will always be undefeated in these debates because of the positions that I take. And most of these dudes... already come into these shits with positions, sometimes called preconceived notions. So, being the fact that you already coming in, in the door, with preconceived notions, I got you. See, because you guys are still under the impression, you guys are still under the impression that you know some shit. <clears throat> You're still under the impression that you read a book or you went to some class where someone else who read a book we taught to you what they read in the book that they read. And you're counting that as you know some shit. And I'm just here to tell you as a neighborhood, friendly neighborhood reminder, man, you don't know shit. And I'll prove that you don't know it with ease. The same way I prove everything else. The mere fact that somebody had to tell you, the fact that somebody had to tell you what your name was not only did they have to tell you what the fuck your name was, they had to fucking tell you how old you were, who you are. And that's if you blessed enough to have been told the truth about who you are. Okay? Is that, is that understood? 
So when you get up here and you start telling me you got the information and you start running your mouth off about some book you read and that is supposed to make me convinced that you got some sort of information, that's crazy. It's only crazy because Shit, I gotta write that in. It's only crazy because you actually believe that shit. You actually believe that the shit you read and the shit people tell you that they wrote, that they read, is an actual fact. And you have the nerve to come at me talking about you will debate me and you'll do this to me and you'll do that to me. I'm going to tell you something right now. So another. It would be fun to engage your bitch ass. But I'm telling you right now, it's not going to end the way you think it's going to end. The last time we got into it verbally, it didn't end well for you. And you went on your show talking shit about me. And I wasn't there to defend myself. Which I don't need to be there to defend myself because keeping it 100% real, man, at the end of the day, ain't none of this shit that serious. It's just YouTube videos. But like we, we came across yesterday, the information we came across yesterday is that you guys must do this. This YouTube shit is a necessity for you. These fucking videos are a necessity for you. It's how you feed yourself. That's why you so mad at me. So Neta doesn't want to tell the truth, people. He doesn't want to tell why he's really upset with me. He's really upset with me, guys. Like I told y'all before, he doesn't like the points I make. The points I make are right and exact. The points I make are always specific and to the point of the whole conversation. So that way we we can avoid all the fuckery. We can avoid all the attempts of misleading you, etc. If you just focus on the point, you won't get misled. It's pretty much impossible. I'm going to put an E there for that one. So, at any rate, at any rate, I was engaged this weekend while I was relaxing by some old Harlem hustler. You know who he is. The old Harlem hustler tried to get me to engage in some sort of debate with him. He set it up and then he ran. Also, I want to give a shout out to Root Words who came completely to his senses this weekend. Was that? Yeah, it was. Who came completely to his senses this weekend and apologized again. Uh, The people thank you, Root Words. Uh, We're glad to see that you have Recognize the errors of your ways and that you were man enough to try to make amends for it through an apology. I appreciate it. I probably won't accept it too much because that's just how I am. I'm a funny ass nigga about that. I'll be like, nigga, what you sorry for? You sorry that I that I didn't allow you to do it. Now you realizing it, or you really sorry, you really sorry. Like, those are things I don't know. 
And I don't want to guess. So I'm going to just say I appreciate the fact that the brother did step out there, you know, and say that he was sorry. He didn't have to do that. But I want him to know that the audio that I was playing, I had never seen that. I heard about it, but I never saw it myself. So I just thought it would be cool to put that in the video. It just went with the video that I was doing. So I hope uh, Ruth don't take too much offense to it. I hope he takes enough offense to say something about it, though, because we sure like to know. How come he goes around bashing Masons when it never made sense to me because he said that he's a moor. And, and at this particular time, Root, I ain't dragging you. I'm just saying. He says these things. You'll say it again. You'll admit that you say these things. So I'm not attempting to drag you here. <clears throat> All I'm saying is this is shit that you said, and we have Moors who, who disagree with you. We have Moors who say that you are completely incorrect in your stance. And these Moors say that they are the ones who create the New World Order. They are the ones who create the Illuminati. They are the ones who, who, who set up Freemasonry as a vehicle in which to civilize and teach your opinions. Now, that is not the first time that I have read or heard that. Not even about just, um, not even about just, um, Freemasonry. I heard the very same thing about Christianity, that Christianity was, was, um, created to civilize Europe and hand it to Europeans as a vehicle and wish to civilize them. So this, all this information is not new information. That's where you get into the shit about um, King James supposedly being a black man and all this shit like that. That's where all that stuff comes from. Now, I don't know if it's true or not. Again, it's only shit that I've read. And you guys know how I am about shit that I read. It's not necessarily a reality or a fact just because I read the shit in the book. And it's definitely not a reality or a fact just because I've seen the shit in a lecture. Lord have mercy. I might have to go back here. Um, so, that's where we're at this week. We're going to pick up where we left off last week. Uh... We're going to continue to call Sarnetta out for the coward that he is, that he came all the way up uh, to my sister's channel, so-called calling himself, looking for me, uh, that's going to be an eight. Who so called call himself looking for me to do a fucking debate in which I wasn't holding my breath, but I wasn't even totally decided that I was gonna go along with that shit. But I definitely was gonna check to see if he would show his face because I didn't expect him to. Like at the end of the day, Sarnetta, you know what time it is. You know you fucking dumb. Nigga, you know you dumb. And you know damn well that I'm not dumb. And you know that if you keep running your fucking mouth, eventually, we're going to have that open conversation again in front of everybody. And I'm going to drag the shit out of you. Because everything that I ever presented to the people that had your name on it, was based upon some shit that you said and based upon some shit that you did. So, no matter what you say, no matter how many insults you throw out, 
Uh, no matter how many accusations you make of somebody hating on you or doing something to you for hater purposes, etc. No matter how many times you throw that shit out there, I'm going to always point back to the same thing. I am only saying, I am only repeating what this individual has said and or done versus what he has said and or done like the week before or the day before. Because we know how Sarnetta is. He'll fucking say some shit and and two days later he'll be saying some completely opposite shit. So we already know how that goes. And then if he gets caught saying some completely opposite shit, he has a problem with you repeating the fact that he's saying some completely opposite shit. So, same TV, my little thousand page, uh, subscriber page. Yes, we have taken down the mighty, the mighty Sarnetta and the mighty House of Consciousness. I guess I'm going back here. They acted like they really wanted it, and they really didn't. Moors are masons. They staying quiet right now, but it's not going to be quiet for long when they see uh, what else I got in store for them. You going to answer me? You going to answer that question? You going to answer our Moors masons? And the people who talking shit about them, you're going to be forced to answer questions too. Eventually, as long as this shit gets pushed and continues, here it is, for. As long as this shit continues to get pushed by me, eventually, you're going to have to answer questions. And that includes Young Pharaoh and everybody. And speaking of Young Pharaoh, he did a live stream last night. I kind of caught a little bit of it because it was time for me to get ready to go to sleep. But... Y'all would not, well, you're not going to be surprised who I seen in there in the live stream kissing ass, sucking balls, swinging from dickhead, all in Pharaoh live stream, just commenting. Yeah, he wasn't even, and this Mick asshole, he wasn't even commenting on the shit that Pharaoh was talking about. Like, he was just commenting to make himself seem be seen there. So, like, yeah, Pharaoh, I'm here supporting you. Like, get the fuck out of here, dog. As much as I fuck with IP's page and his energy and what he's trying to do as far as not being a fuck nigga like the rest of these dudes around him have already been caught engaging in. At the end of the day, dog, I'm not about to sit there and suck Pharaoh nuts, nigga. Like, what the fuck? I got my own YouTube page. And I talk about what the fuck I want to talk about on my own platform. And I'm not going around sucking nobody's ass on a platform just so I, I can pretend like we still cool. And I got a million fucking shitty ass disc videos on them. That's how that nigga is, yo. He fucking slick ass stupid bastard. But that's what happens, yo. It's starting to warm up out here. I'm glad. It was cold as shit this morning. Windy as fuck. But um, that's what happens, yo. I told y'all, man, that's what happens when you need this shit. When you uh, record, when you pay your bills and the, all the money that you get for the month or the week or the whatever comes from fucking YouTube or by way of YouTube, yo, you a piece of shit as far as I'm concerned. You a piece of shit because you're, at the end of the day, you'll do and say anything. And I don't mean that for any and every person who gets an uh, ad set check from YouTube. That, that is nowhere near, nowhere near what I'm talking about. Because that ain't true. Some motherfuckers got it popping on YouTube. And they got it popping so much that they can make money off their page. From doing them. And I'm going to say this again. From doing them. Not doing bullshit, not saying anything, not talking about Kanika Jenkins and no, you don't give a 
fuck about Kanika Jenkins, but you know that it'll get you a thousand subscribers if you talk about it every day for a month. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, along those lines, that type of bullshit. I don't have respect for no nigga that do that shit. And when I say I don't have no respect for no nigga that do that shit, I don't have absolutely no respect for you. You're a piece of shit, and you'll do and say anything. At the end of the day, that's the type of nigga that Sarnetta's looking for. Niggas who's on YouTube, whose whole life seems to revolve around YouTube. That's what Sarnetta's after. Them are the niggas he can mold and have do whatever he wants because they in a situation where they on the hustle. They need this goddamn accent check to pop off. It's a goddamn shame at the end of the day. I ain't lying. It's a fucking shame. But we on the job. Shame TV, you watch. Let me get ready to finish this up, people. Peace.